Well, it's that time of day, time to start making dinner, right? And you know what that means. You got to grab the pasta or even the chicken. How about the salt and pepper or even the cannabis? The cannabis, that's the key ingredient in a unique cooking class in the northern suburbs today. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is live in Mundelein with this original report, medical marijuana, Vince. Rob, here at the Omega restaurant in Mundelein, they're busy putting together the finishing touches for tonight's seminar that, truth be told, sold out weeks ago. Now, cooking with cannabis might sound like the title of some comedy sketch, but it's not. If you have a real need for medical marijuana, cooking with cannabis can help you get the relief that you need faster for less money. More than Rice Krispies and marshmallows are mixing it up in this pot. A key ingredient to the treats is a pasty coconut oil infused with cannabis. My chef hat went on and then I started whisking and adding heavy cream. Jody Greco knows it well. She's made everything from sweets to sauteed vegetables with the cannabis concoction. By the time I started stirring the consistency, well, this is not going to be chocolate anymore. I think I just made a gelato. About 30,000 people in Illinois are approved for medical marijuana, but not everyone wants to smoke it. A lot of folks don't want that on their lungs, which makes good sense. A lot of our patients are pulmonary patients. To meet that need, the Clinic Mundelein, a marijuana dispensary, has developed seminars to teach patients how to infuse butters and oils with cannabis, ingredients later used in daily recipes. Edibles are much more body-centric, so when you're dealing with chronic pain and neuropathy, edibles do the job much more efficiently than smoking. A cannabis cookie can cost $20 at a dispensary, but patients can make one of their own for the equivalent of $1.60, a savings for patients because cannabis is not covered by insurance. I always equate it to if you're making your own dinner versus going out to eat. Jody Greco, who suffers from arthritis, lupus, and fibromyalgia, is also a trained chef. Cooking with cannabis has given her a way to express herself while relieving her pain. Being a chef, it's a lot of fun. Now, edible cannabis can also last longer, too. At tonight's seminar, they're not necessarily going to be using cannabis because it's a controlled substance. So they will be substituting, like you see on all those cooking shows, they're going to be substituting oregano tonight. But the people here at the seminar will be learning the same techniques. And they can also, at the dispensary, choose between cannabis that gives you some sort of impact, that makes you feel maybe high or buzzed, or a type of cannabis that doesn't make you feel uh, as if you're buzzed. But uh, if you're eating a Rice Krispie treat, it's still fattening. Reporting live from Underline, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. You got that right. That's the reality check there. All right. But creative ideas. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vince.